the peppered moth? Peppered moth. There was a study in the UK showed that they were impacted on uh, in the industrial belt in the UK. They, where there was air pollution, they became dark. And in oh, the countryside where there was... Where I there was, remember yeah. that study. Yes, I remember studying that, so that oh, years ago. So, and if you look underneath, they go in here. So these are two large yellow underwings. You can see the variation. They're the That's, same species, but oh. they look... They look. Um, One's dark and one has a kind of colours yeah. in its wings. They're different. Um, I, I am so impressed with the hawk. What did you say it called? Elephant, hawk, hawk, elephant moth. hawk moth. Just the colours. The, yeah, are absolutely amazing. stunning. Actually, stunning. I have to check. I should. Oh, this look, is it's this got fluffy ears. Look, take a photograph of that uh, head on, and it's called a spectacle. If you can see, oh, the, see the spectacles. Two, two little spectacles. Okay, well, I'm videoing, but we're okay. videoing the spectacle. So it that's does. a spectacle. Yeah. And this, I think, is. This is, uh, I think it's dark arches. I'll have to look. Do you see this distinctive oh, W yes, shaped? Very beautiful. I'll take photographs of these so I can identify them. And what's the one in the middle? Um, that's a heart and dart. I think. Heart Do you dart. see the um, arrow shape? Yeah. And the the, the square. Okay. Um, and the little brown one over here? Um, there's a there's a moth called the uncertain. <laughs> which is, comes in handy because I'm certainly uncertain about what it is. But it could be that. It could be the uncertain. It could be anything. To okay, be I want to stop filming because I want to take a picture of the spectacle moth. No. Oh. oh, is there okay. any? Okay. No, and there are two large yellow underwings. You see the... And you see the little... Um, the black mark there towards the apex of the wing. Okay, oh that's, yes. That's actually quite diagnostic for that species. They're very variable. You see that one is much darker yeah. in colour, but it's yeah. the same the same species. And this beautiful kind of iridescent... This is gorgeous. Um, ...brass colour. That's yeah. the um, burnished brass. The burnished brass. Now, oh, I'll just take beautiful. Another, I'll take another photograph of this. So there we have it. Oh, wow. Another burnished brass in here. I'm I'm getting my yes. I, I, IDs. That's it. And this is a. No, I'm not too sure. And you see this little micro moth with beautiful markings on it. Beautiful markings on it. Yeah. So there's. Um, you have a good catch. We'll see plenty. Uh, whether we can identify them all is a different Kettle question, of, fish. of course. But we'll give it a go. <gasps> um, what is that? Yeah, that's a popular hawk moth. There's some stunning moths and some, they've got fantastic... Well, quick, take a picture before he flies away. It's okay, He's can... gorgeous. Look at him. Even now, we... which of the other species before um, they fly or the paper flies away? Look at these. Uh, that's a large yellow underwing. This is the... Um, oh, they've got strange name. White lined, white light... I'll have to look it up, but you see this white line on yeah. the near the, the end of the wing and yeah. the the kind of orange spots. A lot of the um, a lot of the names, the common names of the things are, are of the moths are called after the kind of characteristics that you saw. Find. This one with the kind of shimmy in the wings is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so this is a buff arches. Yes. Yeah. He's saying he doesn't like my finger. What's the little one there? Do you know? I have know? no idea. You, it's, it's, one a little one. it's a little one. It's a little one. It's a little one. Okay, and... Oh, and is that another spectacle near your hand, fingers? Is no, that that's a, a heart and dart. Heart and dart, which I have loads of. You have a lot of the hearts and darts, yes. Oh, look at the beautiful markings. We had one of those. That's a, a dark arches, I think. I'll have to check, but just beautiful markings. They're on so that one. beautiful, the markings. They and look the, like the inside of old books. You exactly, know, the ink exactly. Print. And that's... The identification features is this w, w shape, shape and also there's a kind of a, a V, a dark V either side of the of the head here. Um, this has got this particular piece has you've got beautiful ones on the underside. Okay, we're gonna this could be a different one here. I'm just gonna take a photograph of it. Um, that copper brass is stunning. This is the copper brass, yeah, isn't it? Burnished brass. Burnished is, brass. Yeah, but yeah, the, the markings on it are extraordinary. That's beautiful. Um, okay, another spectacle. 
They're so funny with their um, spectacles. Yeah. But they're easy to distinguish because of that. Yeah, that's the diagnostic feature. And the pepper moth is absolutely beautiful. Um, he is. And look, and what is this one again? Oh, that's the that's spectacle. That's the spectacle, yeah. I keep forgetting yeah. to... There's so many different names to learn. He's beautiful, the pepper moth. Yeah. Okay. Still, I mean, I think I've got my favorite colorization. Yeah, that's... Um, and we have... Do you know what these insects... They're not moths. I have no idea. But it's they true. were attracted... That's a moth. Yeah. But these aren't, so other things. Oh, look, you've got a moth decoration. Yeah, we can. Now we'll just take a photograph of this one so we have a record. Of the handsome it. man, woman, child. So there's two. There's the elephant hawk moth, and there's another one that's uh, called a small elephant hawk moth, and it's just the, the pattern of the markings on the. So that one, on this is the big one, that's and the other the, one is the yeah, small one. That's the so we have elephant the hawk moth okay um no this is a mottled beauty Oops, Oops. the one that's just flown no she went down yeah, there we'll catch her again okay i'm just going to take a few photographs that's the white ermine moth oh uh, we haven't that's come very, across yeah that's very common it's, it's common beautiful. but we haven't come across it in the box oh look yeah it is and you can see its ermine coat around its shoulders yeah and little speckles fantastic and who's that? I'm not too sure. We'll have to check. Check that who that is. It is like opening a Christmas present. It is. It's uh, and you could you could uh, have the moth trap out tonight, and you could get different uh, different species. It's 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 beautiful to see such a, kind of get an insight into nightlife. The oh, who's okay, that okay, green that's, um, one? It's probably a green carpet, but I'll have to check. There's a lot of um, species of carpet, and they're, but that one is quite green. Okay, that's we we have that one earlier as well. That's white line brown spot or something is the name I think. Because it literally has white yeah. lines and brown spot, they're and not, the little tiny one you don't know. No, I'll have to check that. That's a micro moth. No, this is a buff tip. Okay. It's like a, a Oh, look, at, it's, a twig. Like, it's like a t twig, but it's yeah. also um, very um, shiny and brassy. Yeah. Not brassy, silvery. Like aluminium, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, so that's a buff What's tip. the pinky thing in the trough next to it? It's got a kind of pinky tinge to yeah, it, that I'm one. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have to check. It could be a purple clay. A purple clay. But I'll... Now, if you were a proper mother, you'd be able to name name off the moths as now you... Now you're pinching one with your yeah, finger. I thought as much. Okay, that's another burnished brass. Okay, <gasps> there's two What's burnished brass one? and that's a small magpie. That's gorgeous. And um, look at the, and it's got a white tail and everything. And that's a white magpie. White magpie and two burnished brass. Look at this beautiful one there. Oh, and that's a burnished brass again? Burnished brass, and this is a beautiful micro moth. I just want to get a photograph of this one. Sorry. Yeah, no, just, do you see this small little micro moth? It's quite, oh. quite distinctive, I think. It's got like a, a red tail on yeah. it or something. It looks like a fallen leaf. And who's that? Uh, I'll have to check again. I should know, but it's got very distinctive marks. It has very distinctive the, um, swirly marks. There's two species that are very similar. And do you see this last line? Um, the last line. straight line, yeah. One of them has, it's curved and this is straight. So this is the one with a straight line. I'll just have to um, check. In Figure book. out who it is. Now, look at the beautiful markings on that one. Oh, yeah. Okay, there are two hearts and darts, I think, and that's another caddis fly. And this is your, I think they're grass veneers. They're the ones that we... Um, when we were walking last yeah, night through you the disturb, field. you disturb. They were all flying about the place. And that's some kind of a stone fly or... Oh, yeah. Sure. Beautiful. Look at its red head. Yeah, super. Oh, course, no, red eyes. Of course, you're 
uh, not far from the river here. So yeah, exactly. Now, that's another spectacle. Oh, look at that. You can see it head on there, the two little Hold white on. spectacles oh, on the face. The, yes, so you can totally see why it's called yeah. a spectacle moth. It's got its glasses on. Oh, a dung beetle. Oh, right. Look. Cool. Yeah. A dung beetle. Who's in there? You see, there's a lot of little insects that, uh, and there's a micro moths. I'm not going to go near the micro moths. Life is too short. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many of them. What now? What is this? That's a caddis fly as well. So look at the colors of it. Yeah, it's that's a large one. Yeah, very large caddis fly. Okay, and this is a. Oh, I should have known. This is the snout. It's called <gasps> because it has a snout. It has a snout. Oh, look at its snout. They've got such beautiful patterns. Yeah. There's another buff arches. Where's the buff arch? Oh, right on the edge. Yeah. Look, and I mean, the 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 wings just are spectacular. Yeah. The patterns. Just the, the look at the intricate nature of that pattern on the yeah. wing. Yeah, I mean, it's stunning. just gorgeous. Stunning, yeah. And there's another little micro moth. Um, Life's too short. Well, <laughs> oh, life can be full of challenges. Who is this? Okay, that's a thorn, and it 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 uh, perches like a butterfly. It does. Um, I just have to again. I'll have to check which species. No, 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 cat down. We have a cat. Doesn't want to get involved. That's a beautiful. Uh, so this is a moth that it's a moth, pretends yeah. it's a butterfly. Yeah, you can see that it's it's uh, it lands. The other moths close their wing. This has a uh, keeps it open. Okay, and that's the mottled beauty that I mentioned. It's the most. I don't know why it's called mottled beauty. It's the most. Um, Drab, nondescript moth that you can get. But, <laughs> Maybe uh, that's, that's the why. irony. That's it's probably It's a bit of why, irony yes. in the uh, people who are doing them. My hand has now got moths on it. I've got two sets of moths. There's another little micro moth there. Lovely With markings beautiful, on it. Beautiful. Wait, let me see if I can get draw focus. Beautiful markings yeah. on it. You have another dung beetle. And another dung beetle. Hey, dung beetles. Uh, another little micro moth. Oh, I think we saw that the uh, buff arches. You have a lot of so buff arches. So beautiful. Yes, buff arches is what yeah. that one's called. Okay, now we're there's getting a, close to the end. Here, there's a carpet, and we'll just see. Who's that you... person darting along uh, with the that one? That's a, you Ooh. see it? Large um, yellow underwing. You saw I, the flash I, of the orange only underneath. Only for a moment. Hopefully, yeah. it got caught on film. I couldn't see. Oh, I see that one down there. You're taking a picture yeah. of, and who did you say that was? It's one of the carpets. I'll have to do, I'll have to check which species. A carpet moth. Yeah. A group of carpets. There's a whole series of species, and there's the pugs. They're the two challenges really that you get in terms of identifying moths. Little beautiful markings on that. There are beautiful markings yeah. on that one. So that you can see the kind of dark shape and the heart so heart and dart so the dart is oh, on no. the shoulder look here look at this beautiful this <gasps> a ghost a ghost moth oh wow we saw last night we yeah. saw the i think this is the female the female is orange and the male is white or it's the other way around so this um, is a ghost a ghost moth it's and beautiful with its pink buff ermine we saw the white ermine. Oh yeah, and this one has a different pattern. Yeah, the other one's speckled and this has an arch of speckles. Yes, and that's right, the, the arch. The arch of speckles. Is. So we'll just have a record of this. This is ghost moth and... Once, you see this, this moth has, a, has lost a lot of its scales. So any pattern is hard to identify. So that's an old moth. Well, it's a challenging moth that we'll probably <laughs> ignore. Oh, beautiful. Another one of these little micro moths. Um, do you want me to hold them? Just thing? here. Do you see this one? Oh, oh, it just flew away. Yeah, that's okay. Now it's gone in here. We'll just take a photograph. 
Excellent. Where is it? We it's can't see. Here. Oh, there. Okay, let me see. There. It's quite distinctive. Beautiful. There's, and who's this? I'm not too sure. There's two or three species very similar. And this then is the mottle beauty. Oh, the mottle beauty yeah. that doesn't have any beauty. Well, is... do you see the, you can see there's a dark line here about oh, halfway down the wing. Yeah. Um, that's diagnostic for the mottle beauty. Okay. You see a lot of its pattern is gone, but that that darker line still. That darker line going all the way well, across? Well, just across here actually at the front. Okay. Or Sorry, at the center. Okay. Um, that's kind of diagnostic. So at least, uh, okay. you know, it's a mottle beauty. And that's that. And you have your dung beetles. And this is another, is this an ermine? That's, or? The, uh, that's the buff ermine. Burf, buff, or the one that has the yeah. arch. And, okay, buff ermine, we have that one. And that's another buff arches. A buff arches. And we'll just check this and one. And who's this? Do you know what this one is? That's a caddisfly as well. Caddisfly. Yeah. You can see the pattern there. Heart. You see the two hearts and the dart. So the two... Oh yes, the darts are in, are on this side and the hearts yeah. are this side so over here. I have to check all of these. I could be telling you lies, but um, I'll try my best to... Now, where are we going to? We'll just take a, a record of that as well. Okay, so that's the... And there's another little micro moss. And lots of dung beetles. Yeah. I have one... One kind of dung. Oh, and what's that? That's a lovely moth. That one there. Yeah, that's the, the carpet. Um, oh, the carpet again. Yes. I. Th yeah, I'll, I'll I'll check which one, what species of carpet that is. Silly dung beetles. A lamp is not a dung. There's another dung beetle. You flipped over. I'm sure, your farm here is very attractive to dung, dung beetles. beetles. Well, I'm glad to see my farm is very attractive to lots of moths as well. Yeah, it's wonderful though, isn't it, to have the the trap set up and um, and see what there see is. See what's at night because you really have no. Um, you don't know because you're not. There's out a whole at night. different world out there. There's and, a, such um, a different world out there. Yeah. So that's basically the results of our catch, and we have our buff ermine attached to myself. Look at that, you do. Gorgeous. Putting them back, and you think, how many species I reckon are there's at least 40 species we've caught. Um, if we can identify 30 of them, we'll probably be doing we'll well. We'll be doing good. Um, yeah. And that's, is that a kind of good average catch type thing? Yeah, well, it was, uh, it was, it was cool last night. Um, if, if you got um, warmer, more balmy night, overcast night, um, yeah. you'd probably catch more. But uh, yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, when I when I put the, the, the trap up in the garden, um, there's the poplar hawk moth again. It's absolutely stunning. Oh, it's that kind is of a furry, so furry thorax. Um, yeah, you get between about 30 and 40 species. Um, Look at that stunning moth. Yeah. And as I say, if you were more expert, a lot of those micro moths, I'm not going to be able to identify. So if, yeah. uh, if it was uh, someone who was more expert, they'd, they'd be able to identify maybe, you know, 10 different, 10 additional species to what I'd be able to identify. Yeah, yeah. But um, Well, you, you can identify a heck of a lot more well, than I. We can, we can at least get some of them identified. That is so beautiful, this. Say this to... name's again, this one's name That's again? That's a poplar hawk moth. Poplar hawk moth, okay. See, I'm very thick early in the morning. Slow to pick up. I've harm been harmed no in this way. In the, no. Harmed, and I just put this on. Okay. And the lid, and then. And yes. then I will open it tonight. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll empty this back into kind of uh, into vegetation. I let the the moths cover. Um, yeah. Okay. Go in to cover themselves. Oh, so we want to go to a hedgerow. Uh, yeah, or even even a, you, you, even you, that 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 stand of. Flowers would be fine, yeah, just so that they can are in front of the wall there where they find some place to, to uh, hide to get shelter for the day. Excellent. If, if I was at home, I'd keep them in this during the day and uh, release again in the evening. And look, those are my glasses. 
his moth books are Field Guide to Great Britain and Ireland, Micro Moths, and then your Biodiversity Ireland Data Center book. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. There's so, so many. So this is the challenge. Oh, my goodness. So I mentioned yes. there was a lot of carpets. Those are all the... Wow. So these are carpets. They're very different, difficult to identify. They've all got unique features. Um, you just have to figure out which is yeah. which. And to be honest, sometimes you get it wrong. And then there's others that uh, the subtle, the differences. That's the large yellow underwing we were talking about. Oh, yes, see. which looks beautiful once yeah. they're flying. You yeah. see their you yellow. Don't, you don't see that when they're... when they're Stationary. Uh, stationary, yeah. And uh, so that's, and that's and these the burnished, are the, the burnished are the, brass. Uh, look, so we got... Yeah. We at least have those two, yeah, potentially. and we had the uh, map wing swift, which is oh no, that's in the other page, yeah. So that's so that's the challenge then for the next hour or two to go through this. And uh, that's oh, the map that's my favorite too. one, yeah. We have that, loads of that, Barnett, yeah. yeah. So that's it, that's basic. And that's are the those ghost. so many different? Sorry, are these all different kinds of spot? That's burnets? right, there's a six spot burnet and a five spot burnet. Ah, uh, I, I just know it's five. a burnet, I don't know yeah. what kind it well, is. Well, all the, the, the commonest by, by a long shot is a six spot burnet, okay. yeah. And then things like the transparent burnet you'd only get in the burn. Okay, no, I definitely yeah. haven't seen that we one. So, this is the so it's the male is the white one that we okay. saw yeah. last night, yeah, and the female was there then. Ah. More orange. So yeah, that's the challenge then for the next hour or so is to try to identify what we've got, put a name on them. Very good. Build up a database of what's in Kilkenny. So lots of cover. He doesn't want to get off. Yeah, I'll do that in a moment. So I shook it and it didn't go too far. Oh, the brassiness of the colors of this one. So beautiful. The dung beetles their freedom as well. Oh, we like giving the dung beetles their freedom. It's a very important aspect in life is to give dung, dung beetles their freedom. <laughs> So, oh look, we still have the moth in this one. A six, no, a heart and dart. Hey, I'm getting the idea. And it's fallen in there somewhere. Oh, who's that? That's, um, again, that's Look the... at it climbing up the, uh, oh, it's going away. Yeah, that'll find its, it'll find its shelter. Which one's that? Um, Again, I've challenged I'll to, you. I'll have to check. It's beautiful, kind of pinky color. Yeah. Or orange, I'm not quite sure. She just let me. You might want to take a picture of I'll that because take... I don't think we saw that one before. Yeah, I think I'm getting that. Uh... Okay. And 
photograph of the one we took, yeah. or we caught. The fan foot. And there's the two fan foot. The two, there's... The small fan foot. I just caught that in my garden uh, last week. This one? Yeah. In your garden, but this is the one we this caught one we here. This one here, yeah. So there's... The subtlety in the differences of those is so minute. Yeah. Because this is the curved bottom black, and this is straight across. Yeah. Is all the difference. And then this is the snout that we call it. snout. Yeah, we've got a nice variety there. Um, There's the snout. No, that's no, the that's, fan foot. That's a different one again, I think. <coughs> oh, a different um, that's, snout. That's a snout, perhaps, even though it's, uh, I'll have to check that out. It's it's much smaller than the snout. Um, I'll have to check what species that is. It's not easy identifying, unless they're distinctive like the hawk moth. Yeah, it's important for me. I'm really quite a bit of a novice on moth recording. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that I have a photograph of everything. So yeah. I'll submit these records to Moths Ireland. Yeah. And then they'll validate them. Oh, and good. they'll come back and say, yeah, you're stupid, you're right, you got it wrong, you're, you're wrong. wrong or... Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> so, you know, it's very important to get... Um, the correct ID. To, to make sure that it's correct, yeah. But yeah. And the, there's a group of kind of volunteers who do the Moths Ireland and they're experts. They're astonishing and they're so helpful. They'll spend hours helping you identify. Um, and where's Moth Island, Ireland based? In well, Dublin? Or, it's or just is it a, a it's an collective, online, it's an online, online collective. One, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, it's brilliant, though, that they uh, do this in a voluntary capacity, and they're they're a fantastic network. Um, yeah, you can see the subtleties in terms of the different yeah. moths, and then some of them, you know, when they're worn, they don't have the distinct pattern. So, so they're harder to yeah. identify. So I'll I'll spend uh, probably this evening now because I have a day job. That I have you to have go to go to, to now. But. Um, I'll, uh, this evening I'll go through I mean, and I'll do a that. list. They all look gorgeous, yeah. but they're all yeah. different. But you can see the patterns. Yeah. And, uh, so this is the one you couldn't think of. This is, yeah, the bright line of. brown eyes. So, so it's got the bright, bright, bright line at the... At the base. At the base and then brown eyes. The brown eyes. Yeah. They're not very imaginative in their naming very no, often. But no, but sometimes you, but you've got to do with what's there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, we've a nice, I reckon we have, we'll be able to identify at least 30 species from this morning, which is nice. Oh, and that's good. There'll be another maybe half dozen that, we, that I won't be able to identify. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice catch. Good.